Hello, and let's get on with it. We are doing Brandon. So, I will comment on how to do it. First, when you come to this guy, as you can see, he wants some key fragments delivered. So, what you need to do is uh, go up this hill. And there should be some enemies there. And they have a random chance to drop key. And no, most of the time, um, if you wipe them all, you're gonna have enough keys to, to start the quest, because you need 30. As you can see, the, the group is already killing them. So, once they are wiped, we should have uh, 30 fragments among all the people. And once they are gathered, make sure to go back to the key master. All right, there's a giant there. Let's uh, go in the hub. Make sure you're blocking the window. There. I'm gonna, gonna try to revive someone. Oh, that guy is already being rest. All right, so. These are wipes, so we should have enough keys, so hopefully the party will uh, go into the quest circle of the key master now. It's, uh, there's quite a lot of people here. Like, uh, yeah, quite a decent party around. So yeah, as you can see this circle in the top right, just try to get inside it. Don't stand on the edge because uh, for some reason the quest circles in this game, if you're standing at the edge, it shouldn't count. So now people are putting in keys. So it, as long as the entire party put 30 keys in total, this quest will start. And let's hope that they will wait for the remaining people for, to come into that. And the entire party is gonna start doing the scenes of the orbiters quest. Oh, there's more people coming in, but they're gonna be too late. Now, for, for some reason, I only got two stars put up. Um, you get decent XP and and cash like silver. Right, so going up the stair after the. Robit to keep now. Now uh, bear in mind that if you run past these robotis, robotas that drop the key fragments, once you pass the gate, they will de aggro for some reason, but that's how it works. So basically, you can just run past them and start the quest. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Oh, the car comes starts as well now, but. Uh, we are doing Brandon, so let's keep doing Brandon. Brandon is a, what's called a quest, is called Scenes of Robita, but the main boss is called Brandon, so everybody just calls this quest Brandon. So. First of all, we have to clear this courtyard, we already did that, then uh, we have to go in and clear another one. So. As now it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just kill some dudes, kill all of them really. And uh, all right, once you pass this gate, keep in mind that there are chests around, and you can open them. And sometimes they they have some decent loot, like this one over here. There's a limestone. There's one over here with some tactile. There's two more chests over there, like leather. Only the first person that gets to them get it. So. Might want to be that person. Shouldn't need any of those things. So now this this is done. We have to free the prisoners up uh, after the third gate. So basically, kill more dudes, and the prisoners will come out. Uh, so many 
people get game dust you get a meat lag every now and then so two of them are already walking down should probably get two more on the same eastern so now there's one over there and there's another one here now the worst thing that sometimes people do it is like the prisoners don't really want to move so they will start hitting them or kicking them this really doesn't help and especially don't stand it don't stand in their way don't stand in their way because uh, that will actually slow them down so now we have to well, escort like a favorite part in all games right escort the prisoners uh, to the front gate so some of the enemies will respawn usually depending on your party size but most of the time they will respawn so you have to get to the gate and then uh, just stand over there oh, well obviously escorting killing npcs but with a party that large most of the time you don't really uh, it's, it's really easy you don't really have to bother that much but just don't go full pass if you know be a part of the team so standing here close to the gate so that way you will receive the reward once he passed the gate there you go three stars some cash some XP and some contribution points so that was the first prisoner and there's three more up there so I'm gonna run up and see what's the hold up and the hold up is most probably some more NPCs or someone like this green leaf standing in front of them as you, as you saw that he was standing in front so that they didn't move so yeah that's, that's what you want to avoid just don't don't stand on the path because they will uh, even if they are actually capable of passing through you they will try to like go around you or something and uh, you're basically slowing them down this way this is a yeah this is really wonky part of that quest right here so that's the third one you only need three out of four so most of the time once the third one is down the part is already up there I'm gonna forfeit the reward and make sure I run up before they kill the commander and I'm now I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to make it they've done it wrong because they should all be here and this way I'm not gonna be able to reach the circle before they kill the commander and this way I will lose the first chest I already lost it yep so now we're gonna go to the, to the uh, second chest that you can get and you get that chest after you kill the guy that I'm just going to shoot once someone as you can see that that guy I'm, I'm shooting right now you see that you need to kill him while you're standing in a circle preferably the whole party standing in a circle and you get a similar reward for the first part that I didn't get uh, after we do the after that guy is killed, you can see his health bar in the quest progression over here. So, he's dead. You get the chance to reward. Now, bear in mind, you don't have to take the reward now. You have a timer. So, just in case like enemies come in there, they might wipe you or kill you. You might not want to have the chests in your inventory. So, you can take them back in the capital. There's rewards. And... I'm gonna take it now just to show you what is it now there are the doors in here like a lot of a lot of the time these doors will not open what you need to do is press E or whatever your use action is and then make a 360 turn basically look away and look back into them and they will start opening for some reason so if the door don't open you don't be like these guys standing here wondering what's going on just look away, look back, the doors start opening and you will stop blocking uh, people. Now there's a bunch of people killing a single enemy, the, the main boss, and they kill them. Grand finale is done and the entire quest of Sins of Robita is finished. So now the first one that I missed would give me a choice of a chest or a single elite quilted canvas. And the second one give me that. I usually choose chest on the first and the second. And I tend to use uh, to take the four elite canvases on a third one because uh, 
Yeah, you've already seen that these chests are not really that great. So, in this, I will. This will be about it. And quest is done. So, thanks for watching. Bye.